Hey guys, it is Datto, and today I'm going to be showing you the locations of 18 different ghosts in the Destiny beta. Ghosts get you Grimoire cards and Grimoire points, so be sure to remember the names of the cards that you get to check them out later on Bungie.net. A lot of them were in the same locations as they were in the alpha. If I ever make a reference to a story mission, I am referring to the location. You do not have to be in that story mission to get the ghost. You can get all of them in patrol mode. We're going to start in the tower, and these were the three that I could find. The first one is going to be outside on the left. If you take the stairs upstairs, it'll be sitting on a shelf thing. The next one, you're going to go inside to where all the class mentors are, but as you're walking into the room, hook a right, and it'll be there on a table. Last one in the tower, just go to the speaker in tower north, and it'll be on a stool to the left. So now what you're going to want to do is enter patrol mode in the Cosmodrome, and we're going to go find a lot more. The first is close to where you spawn, you're going to see a big building right in front of you. Go towards it and then you're going to see a smaller building behind it with a big antenna. Go in and on the ground is ghost number one. Next you're going to go east towards the divide. Once you're in the area, you're going to go jump on top of the building towards the right. There's a sign facing where you came out of the opening mission. Jump on top of the sign to find ghost number two. Move towards the rocket yard to the north and you're going to see this big tube. Inside this tube is ghost number three. Now head towards the area where you came out of in the opening mission. The last room in the opening mission, if you go underneath the ledge if you're facing towards that big hole in the wall to the left, you'll find ghost number four. Head farther back into this area, back to that light that falls down and scares the crap out of you. If you don't know where that is, just keep going back until you can't. You'll hit a gate. Ghost number five is in the ceiling between that closed gate and the light falling down. Leave this area and go back to the rocket yard. The entrance is by that tube thing that we were just near. Keep going through and off to the left you're going to jump on top of this building and on the vent is ghost number 6. Next, go towards the devil's lair like you were doing the strike. In the first big room where you fight the three waves of enemies, over in the corner opposite of where you activate the event, there's a ghost in a small room on a box. That's number 7. Keep going through the devil's lair and right where you kill the devil walker, go off to the left and up the stairs. You'll find ghost number 8 sitting on a table. We're going to be going the opposite direction now, so just go back into orbit and drop down into the patrol again. Start going west towards the Dark Within story mission. This big gap where you drop down and go back up, go to the lowest point and into all this brush. All the way to the right is ghost number 9. Continue going to the Dark Within. Before you get to the dirt road leading up, there's a big ramp going into a cave. You're going to jump the ramp, kill the enemies inside, and off to the left is ghost number 10. The next ghost is in the dark within, it's that first room where all the thralls rush at you. Off to the right there are a couple of platforms to jump on, jump up and you're going to find ghost number 11. Keep going through the rest of this area towards the sky watch. By these helicopters, if you drop down off the ledge there's a secret room with a hallowed knight or a hallowed ogre. You need to quickly run around the enemy to the right to find ghost number 12, which is in a little kind of office area. This area is complete, so go back to the ramp that you had to jump off of because we're going to the Forgotten Coast. Ride through to the Forgotten Coast. Keep going past the first ship and you're going to find a smaller one right before the path leading up to the building. Go inside the ship for ghost number 13. Go up that path and into the building. Right by the second thing that you had to scan for the Warmind mission, you can go downstairs. If you keep going all the way down, you're going to see a bunch of high level enemies. Quickly go down the stairs and look under them for ghost number 14. Finally, you're going to enter the grotto from the Forgotten Coast, so leave that building and keep going farther north. It was that area with a ton of high level enemies and the Hive Shrieker. After you pass the first two dregs, veer off to the left along the rocks near the coast. Keep going until you reach this big hole in the wall. Ghost 15 is right around the corner, sitting on some rocks. Bonus ghost number 19, which I totally didn't forget about after recording all of that. During the Warmind story mission, after you activate the two amplifiers and go into the restricted respawn area, there is a ghost just hanging out in an open locker. Anyway guys, those are all the ghosts that I've found thus far on Earth. I obviously don't know if I've found all of them, so if you know of any more ghosts, be sure to let us know in the comments and I will create any necessary follow-ups. Thanks for watching guys, I'll see you next time.